Und weiter geht's hier. Nochmal keine Optimierung. Ah, it's been a while. Hallo, ich brauche ein paar Informationen. Of course. Go ahead. Über Reden, Gokaden. Oh. <lacht> Now there's a question I wasn't expecting. <lacht> Very well. I'll tell you what I know once more. The once renowned Raiden Gokaden, comprised of five branches. Aminoma, Futsu, Ishin, Hyakume and Senju. The art of forging practiced by these five clans was first taught to them personally by the almighty Shogun. Over time, the five branches diverged from one another as generations of bladesmiths honed and perfected their craft until they became five distinct traditions. Most of the great swordsmith clans of old have since fallen into decline And for a long time, only the Amenoma branch kept its heart alive. But fortunately, Kaida Harakazuha recently returned to Inazuma and took up the mantle of the Ishin art. Now, two clans remain of the original Gokuden Five. If my memory serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin blade. Oh, yeah, we were! Paimon remembers that now! We learned a bit about the decline of the Raiden Gokuden then, too! It seems like such a shame. Was war denn der Grund der Niedergang? <sighs> that, my friends, is a tragic tale indeed. In fact, this was not made known to me for most of my life. All these years, I knew of those great clans' demise, but never the cause. <sighs> Only recently, when the question was on my mind, did I ask Kaidehara Kazuha about this. He told me that, as we are both heirs to a branch of the Raiden Gokunen, it was right that I should know the truth. There is no harm in telling you, but I must warn you. It is a dark and sorrowful tale. The Raiden Gokuden were the targets of a murderous rampage by a vengeful bladesmith. Vengeful? Why? 400 years ago, so I'm told, there was a catastrophic malfunction in Tatarasuna's furnace. One brave swordsmith heard the commotion and chose not to flee. But he rushed to the scene, hoping to prevent a disaster. Tatarasuna was home to a state-of-the-art forging and smelting operation in that day. And overseeing it was the armory officer. His surname was Niwa, though he had family ties to the Kaidehara clan. Knowing that they had just one chance to save countless lives, Mr. Niwa and the swordsmith leaped together into the furnace. The furnace quickly stabilized, but neither of them made it out. The smith's death, though heroic, dealt a devastating blow to his family's fortunes. His orphan son was left to fend for himself and grew up deeply resentful at the world. In his heart, the whole of Inazuma was culpable in his tragedy. He hated the almighty Shogun for her apparent indifference towards his father's death, and he hated everyone who had done nothing to try and save him. Powerless and destitute, the only legacy he had to pass on to his children was his hatred. Generation after generation bore this grudge, living in utter misery. Alas, if only the story could have ended there. But 100 years ago, The thin head of this family reached the end of his wits. He could bear their fate no longer, and yet he could do nothing to change it. Finally, he made a drastic decision to take revenge on the ride in Gokuden. In doing so, he sought to vent his pet anger 
and shake the very foundations of Inazuma's forging industry. In his fury, he murdered indiscriminately, killing even bladesmiths from the Hyakume clan which he belonged to. His goal was absolute, the devastation of all of the Raiden Gokuden. But when he came to the Kaedehara and Kamisato clans, his killing spree came to an abrupt end. He failed to catch them unawares. They fought back fiercely, and they did not spare his life. That is why the Kaedehara clan and their Ishin art survived that day. I suppose they were the lucky ones under the dire circumstances. Die Legende der Raiden Gokaden wurde geändert. War ja es nicht jemand anders, der damals all die Schwerte ist mir der Angriff. Karamosche scheint wirklich etwas mit der Irmin so angestellt zu haben. Aber nie war es am Ende dennoch zu. Was there anything else you want to ask? Hast du Katsu in der letzten Zeit gesehen? Kazuha? Why yes. Just yesterday in fact. We spoke for a while over some tea. He seemed well. Du Glück existieren die Leute noch. Das ist alles beim Alten viel besser, als ich es mir gestern Abend vorgestellt hatte. Ich habe keine weiteren Fragen. Danke. My pleasure. Don't tell Paimon. There are other places you want to visit too, right? <laughs> Your expression says it all. You can't hide anything from Paimon. On to the next stop! Lead the way, Traveler! Paima will be right behind you! Auch zu Kassel, würde ich sagen. Oder auch nicht. Okay. Commission's headquarters, so... Traveler, it's been a while. Hello. If you're looking for the Commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I'm afraid your timing is unfortunate. The Are they out on business? The Commissioner is out on business, and Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the Commissioner's place. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. What do you think? Shall we go in? Entschuldige bitte. Können wir im Hof herumlaufen? If it were anyone else, I couldn't allow it. But seeing as you're so close with the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I think it should be okay. We'll be heading in then. Thanks. Hmm? Hello, dears. Is there something you want to say? Hallo, kannst du mir etwas erklären? <laughs> of course, Traveler. Yes, I know who you are. Miss Kamisato has told me about you. What would you like to know? Wie geht es Herrn Kamisato und Ayaka? Oh, they're both very well indeed. Lately, Miss Kamisato has been rather busy attending all kinds of meetings and occasionally paying visits to some local organizations on the Commissioner's behalf. As for the Commissioner himself, well, you know, busy as ever, that much hasn't changed. Although, he does seem to be in a rather good mood these days. So pretty much business as usual in the Yashiro Commission, huh? Very much so. Ayato is immer noch the leiter der Yashiro Verwaltung. Ayaka di Shirazagi Migimi. Kein Unterschied zu Ufer. Und bei der Yashiro Verwaltung scheint es auch keine Veränderung zu geben. Ich hatte zwar erwartet, bin aber trotzdem leicht, dass es den beiden gut geht. Well, got any more questions? 
Im Moment nicht, danke. You're very welcome. In fact, I would love nothing more than for you to come and visit more often. But I'm sure you must be far too busy to have time for that. Miss Kamisato talks about you all the time. She seems so thrilled to have you as a friend. And she's always saying how talented you are and how much she admires you. I must say, many things in Inazuma seem to have taken a turn for the better since you arrived here. So, you're not just Miss Kamisato's knight in shining armor, you know. You're a hero to us all. Du schmeichelst mir. Oh, I mean it. Whenever the commissioner dines at home, Toma always joins him. I always find myself at my most relaxed when I'm serving the two of them and listening to them chat away. The commissioner has such a busy schedule that he doesn't always have the chance to take his meals at home. But given the opportunity, he always prefers to dine here. They say it's because Toma is a much better chef than most. <laughs> oh, the commissioner is so fond of home comforts. They get to talking about you sometimes too, you know. Always with a very fond tone. The way one would talk about dear old friends around whom one can truly be themselves. Miss Kamisato occasionally joins them as well. Whenever the whole family gets together and they start talking about people they've met and experiences they've had, you always get a mention. It's been many years now since the late Mr. and Mrs. Kamisato passed away. Much has happened in the Kamisato clan in that time. As someone who is old and gray enough to have watched their son and daughter grow up, it makes me so happy to see them meet a dependable friend whose company they enjoy so much. So. In the future, if you ever do have the time, please know you are always very welcome at the Yashiro Commission Headquarters. There will always be at least one old lady who would be delighted to have the pleasure of your company. Die Leute aus dem Kamisato Clan sind auch meine Freunde. Danke. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, likes it here too. Also, you were saying something about the food here being really great. Paimon's itching to try it. We may just have to invite ourselves around for dinner sometime. Uh, uh, Paimon meant we should come pay a visit again real soon. Ideally around dinner time. <laughs> of course. You're always welcome. Tarazuna. Great! Goodbye, ma'am! Don't worry, we'll see ourselves out! All right, then. Take care now. Hope to see you soon! Oh, are you two leaving already? Yep, everything's taken care of now. Don't worry! Very well. Safe travels. Goodbye! Well, here we are. But what are we looking for? 
Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the Traveler and Paimon? Xavier? What are you doing here? I was in the general area, and now I'm in this specific area. There, that's me. So what about you two? We have some questions and thought you might be able to help. Certainly do. I've researched the furnace here in some depth. If there's anything you want to know, just ask away. Like the back of my hand? <laughs> Make no mistake, I have been here a good many times before. Not only that, but I've met people in Inazuma whose families used to live in Tatarasuna years ago. They said it's all true, the history here. Hmm? Oh, well, uh, it's a long story, don't you know? The tale of Tatarasuna starts a long time ago. I'm told that its history is one of the most foremost forging and smelting operations in the nation, goes back around a thousand years. Still, the furnace has had a couple of serious maintenance issues along the way. A couple? When exactly? One was just in the last few years, the other was several hundred years ago. A fun fact, I'm not the first Fontaine tech guy to come and work on it either. There was a guy back then too. They say he was a mechanic who consulted on a technology upgrade. It seems like the technological collaboration between our two nations goes back a long way. How about that? Das war Il Dottore. Anscheinend wurde die Geschichte, wie er mit der Zerstörung des Hochofens das Gas verursachte, nicht geändert. Hey, weren't you gonna ask Xavier something about Tatarasuna? Come on, ask already! Ich frage doch schon. Oh, I didn't realize you two were here for a history lesson. Me neither. Paimon doesn't know what's gotten into this one today. Feels like we've been preparing for a history exam or something. Hmm? What brought this on? Did you just wake up today with a sudden burning desire for historical knowledge? Richtig, deshalb möchte ich noch eine Frage stellen. Sure, go ahead. Hast du von ein Kabuki Mono in Tatarasuna gehört? A Kabuki Mono? Hmm. No, I can't say that I have. I do know the word, Inazuman, for those eccentric types who always go around dressed to the nines. Just the sort of person that I'd like to meet, actually. But sadly, I've never had the pleasure, nor have I come across anything to do with a kabuki mono where Tatarasuna is concerned. kabuki monos, in angestellt haben, konnte. Wenn das so ist, dann will er wahrscheinlich die Welt verändern und alles wieder auf Null zurücksetzen. Aber die ganzen Veränderungen scheinen bisher nur ihn zu betreffen. Danke, Xavier. Of course! Don't mention it. Oh, we're leaving? Okay, bye, Xavier! Oh, you're most welcome. More than happy to help. Farewell. Looks like you got all the information you're looking for. Gehen wir zurück zu niederen Herrn Kusanali. Sure, but what's up with you today? Whatever it is, it seems like it's really troubling you. Keep your smile, Spino Crocodile. No matter what happens, Paimon will always be there for you. Danke, Paimon. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> All right, let's head off and go meet Nahida. <laughs> Ich würde es gegangen haben. It's them! Akaba! Sawada! You're still here?
Diskutiert ihr immer noch über eure Schreiberei? Indeed we are. If you have a moment, we'd love for you to join us once more. We have time. What do you want to talk to us about? It's the same topic we discussed last time. Oh. Still looking for more info about Tatarasuna, huh? Hmm. Should we join them? Die beiden studieren ja auch den Vorfall in Tatarasuna. Mal sehen, was sie zu sagen. Unfortunately, we haven't made any real progress. Könntest du ihn mir noch einmal zeigen? Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Die meisten dieser seltenen Gerüchte drehen sich um Jokern und strotzen nur so vor Besonderheiten. Von ihnen hat man nur ein kleiner Teil sprach von einem Fremden. Es ist wichtig zu wissen, dass eine Person aus einem Volksmärchen, die in der Realität zum Vorschein tritt, sehr verdächtig ist. Aber da, da wurden weitere Fragen zu diesem Thema gestellt und die folgenden Informationen erhalten. Eins kam ein Fremdländische Mechaniker zu Besuch nach der Das heißt, er sei gekommen, um technische Wissen auszutauschen und habe tatsächlich Freundschaften mit den Ortsansässigen geschlossen. Der Mensch behielt sich allerdings verdächtig. Oft begab er sich ins Zentrum oder an nicht für ihn freigegebene Orte und wenn jemand ihn aufhielt, hörte diese nur unverständliche Gemurmel. Die der Mechaniker blickte oft nachdenklich auf den Hochofen, als ob er dessen Zustand observierte. Auch soll er den anderen oft mit einem Blick beobachtet haben, der diesen unangenehm war. Der Wissenschaft lässt sich tatsächlich sehr gut in die Epoche in Tatarsuna einordnen. Tatarsuna der am Meer, weshalb es per Schiff erreichbar ist. Und das eben aus der Ferne willkommen geheißen wurde, ist auch nicht verwundert dich, aber kurz nach dem Wissensaustausch begann die Niedergang des Gebiets, weshalb die Wahrscheinlichkeit eines Zusammenhangs der beiden Ereignisse als hoch einzuschätzen ist. Manche Einwohner meinen jedoch, dass dies lediglich eine Einbildung der damaligen Bewohner gewesen sei. Okay. Ansonsten der Mechaniker trotz umfassender Le Literaturrecherche konnte der Autor keinen Hinweis auf seine Herkunft gewinnen. Nach den Vorfällen auf Tatarsuma verstanden die Gerüchte um ihn allmählich. Daraus schließt der Autor, dass die Person keineswegs nur einer der Einwohner der dortigen Bevölkerung ein springender Fremder, sondern ein real existierender Besucher gewesen sein muss, der in die damaligen Ereignisse in Tatarsuma verwickelt war. I presume you'll want to read mine as well. Here. Na, was haben wir denn hier für Veränderungen? Miyasagi begann sofort mit vorgehaltener Hand zu kichern. Als Niva zu Ende gehört hatte, setzte er die Eidechse in seinen Hand auf Katsuragis Hand. Als er gerade etwas sagen wollte, kam noch jemand aus der Ferne herbei. Dieses Mal waren schwere Schritte zu vernehmen. Die Sicherheit Schritte des Ankömmlings zeugten von großen Selbstvertrauen. Bald taucht ein fremdes Gesicht an der Tür auf, das anders aussah als die anderen Anwesenden. Der Ankömmling stellte sich sein Essenspaket beiseite und nickte bereit zu gehen. Der Ankömmling stellte Essen zu, ja. Wild ihn aufzuhalten, rief Katsuragi her. Was ist denn mit den Essen? Hast du keinen Hunger? Als der Mann das hörte, sprach er lachend. Ich habe schon gegessen. Nehmt euch auch etwas. Du bist unser Gast, äh, mein Herr. Es tut mir leid und äh, ist mir peinlich, dass du uns so behilflich bist, sagte Niva wohlwollend. Freundlich lachte der Mann scheinbar so, als machten ihn keine Gefälligkeiten, nichts machten ihn kleine Gefälligkeiten nicht aus und mit einem weiteren Kopfnicken ging er davon. Nun schloss die schwarzen Wolken in das Boot hinein und verloren gemeinsam mit diesen 
die Orientierung einer wilden Bestie gleich, achte es in die Küste. Nur wenige Schritte entfernt erhob sich der Mechaniker lachen, während er sich langsam den riesigen Schiffswrack näherte. Von denen dort zuerst beschrien hatte, war nichts geblieben. Als ein halber Arm, denn nun mit einem dumpfen Knall vor die Füße des Mechaniker so fiel, er ging in die Hocke und betrachtete ihn wieder und wieder, als wollte er ein bisschen davon dem Zuletzt ließ er es jedoch. Denn die wirbelten in schwarzen Wolken hatten schon all das, was noch auf dem Schiff verblieb, verschlungen. Der zweite, der dritte, der vierte, jeder Hilfe suchende brach bei diesem schlechten Wetter mit seinem ungewissen Schicksal auf. Es wäre vernünftig zu sagen, niemand mehr sollte ein solches Risiko auf sich nehmen. Doch so dringlich wie die Lage von Tatarsumme war, wär, wäre das Opfer auch noch so viel ja, Leben wert, wenn damit nur das Segen der Hauptstadt erreicht werden würde. Der Inhalt hat sich geändert. Es kommt durch die Ende. Es kommt durch die Änderung der Informationen in, in ihrem Mensur. Karamöschi sagt, er wollte diesen Namen löschen. Hat er alles aufgegeben, um seinen Herzen zu folgen, aber... Well, what do you think? Excellent. Hey, Traveler. Remember how last time Akaba was saying how you wished you could gather more information about all this? Well, we just got back from Inazuma. So how about we tell them what we learned? Kein Problem. What did you find out? Something big? It's a long story. Basically, we have some friends in Inazuma, and... Wow, so many new details. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Well, well, so it all comes down to one man's desire for revenge. Huh, you heard this from a member of the Amenoma clan, you say? Then I guess it must be true. Ugh. So there's no ghost story here after all. This new information actually lends further credence to my hypothesis. Evidently, swordsmiths were seen as having an incredibly prestigious role in society those days, to the extent that harming them was conceived of, at least by the perpetrator, as a way of exacting revenge against those in power. Yes, yes, okay, point taken, you were right. But that doesn't mean I can't carry on with my novel. They're back at it. These guys are really into this. Wir haben noch etwas zu erledigen, wenn ihr uns entschuldigen würdet. Oh, so sorry. Look at us, prattling on about our projects and ignoring you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the information. You're welcome. See ya. Keep us in the loop if you find out anything else. Will do. Nein. Ein paar Veränderungen gab es, aber sie sind nicht allzu schlimm. So. Nahida, we're here! Traveler, Paimon, how have you been? Ugh, where to start? Paimon hasn't had a moment's rest this whole time. That night, we ended up chatting and chatting until suddenly, the sun was up. And then, he decided he wanted to go to Inazuma. Wir sind zurück, um die Sache mit Skaramoshi zu untersuchen. The Balladeer? Hmm. This sounds like some kind of code name. Tatsächlich. You look troubled. Is there something you need to tell me? Das Nahide kann sich hier nicht erinnern. Also ist sie auch von der Erinnerung in Ermisol betroffen. Garamusha musste sehr schnell gehandelt und seine Sprung gelöscht haben, bevor Nahida ihn aufhalten konnte. Dann bin ich also die einzige Person, die sich an die Löschung erinnern kann. Ich bin wieder der einzige Zeuge. Traveler? Hey, what's wrong? You look so upset. Es sind einige Dinge geschehen, an die nur ich mich erinnern kann. Ich muss euch jetzt die Wahrheit sagen. Es 
gibt einst eine Person, mit der den Namenskarmosch, die von den Göttern der Blitze erschaffen und als Puppe in die Welt gesetzt wurde. Er hat viel in Tadarasuma durchmachen müssen. Als er glaubte, dass er zum dritten Mal von allen verraten worden war, verließ Karamosche ihn zum Umgang umherzuwandern. Er vertraute den Menschen nicht und hasste.